VPI Pet Insurance presents Ask the Vet with Dr. Justine Lee from Pet Poison Helpline. Did you know that more than half of all pet poisonings involve human drugs? Now I thought the biggest poisoning danger for pets was cleaning products. The bigger threat's actually the medicine cabinet. Over 50% of the phone calls to Pet Poison Helpline regarding poisoned pets are actually human medications. Common pain medications called NSAIDs mm -hmm. or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, antidepressants, and cold and flu medications. Okay, but Tucker can't reach the medicine cabinet, and besides, I always keep it closed. That's true. Most dogs and cats can't get into the medicine cabinet, but I can say these drugs are so commonly available throughout households. A lot of times what we see is actually pet owners are giving this poisonous medication to their pets because they don't realize dogs and cats have an altered metabolism, especially cats. In fact, one Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, can kill a cat. Certain medications are just that potent and that dangerous. For example, human medications called calcium channel blockers are heart medications, and we use these also in veterinary medicine, but one pill is even poisonous to children. So when in doubt, you never want to give any of these medications without speaking to a vet or pet poison helpline first. Another example is Aleve, which is naproxen sodium, is a really common human over-the-counter NSAID, mm -hmm. but the problem is even in a large dog, it can cause severe acute kidney failure, stomach ulcers, and even stomach rupture. Well, you know, I do keep Tucker's meds next to mine in the medicine cabinet. It's not a great idea. Unfortunately, one of the most common accidental poisonings we see are when pet owners put their medication next to their dog's medication. And when you wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. you're still sleepy, you don't take that extra five seconds to read the label. Yeah. And so sometimes we'll see pet owners actually give their human medication to their dog and accidentally take their dog's medication. A second way that we see poisonings is when pet owners actually use these pill pockets mm -hmm. and they basically stuff their dog's medication right into the center and they prepare a whole month's worth of medication. These are so palatable that dogs love them, but they end up leaving them on the counter and a dog gets into a whole month's worth of medication. When in doubt, you always want to keep these in an elevated cabinet in the kitchen out of reach of your pets. Right, you don't think of that because you're worried about the dosage and that's right. helping. Right, yeah. right. In case of emergency, always get veterinary advice. Keep emergency numbers posted for quick reference or better yet, pre-program them in your cell phone so you can call for life-saving advice right away. Pet Poison Helpline is a quick phone call away. It's also a good idea to have VPI pet insurance in case of emergencies like this. When the unexpected happens, your only concern should be getting Tucker the best care possible. And with VPI, you're financially prepared for the unexpected. That is such a good point. You know, it's always best just to be prepared yes. when danger comes looking for your pet. I agree. If you suspect that your pet may have ingested something harmful, seek immediate veterinary advice. Pet Poison Helpline is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to help you through any pet poisoning emergency. Are you prepared for unexpected veterinary expenses? VPI Pet Insurance provides a financial safety net for all kinds of pet emergencies. Get a no-obligation quote for the pet insurance recommended number one by veterinarians.